Revelation chapter 8 verse 13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe. That's three woes, family. To the inhabitants of the earth, by reason of the other voices of the trumpets, of the three angels which are yet to sound. We like to begin this lesson first and foremost, giving honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. These are our forefathers. And the power that they call upon, the name that they call upon is Yahweh. Yahweh in the Hebrew tongue simply means he is. And his only begotten son, our redeemer, the savior, that's right. Who through the angel reveal, that's right, what is going to be happening in the last days to John, the revelator. His name is Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son of our power. Who is, as we speak, is sitting in the right hand of our power, Yahweh, waiting for the go-ahead to come with those chariots, thousands of angels from the heavens to redeem his elect who are the Israelites. That's right. There's nothing new under the sun. There's going to be the last deliverance. We were delivered out of Egypt and now we're going to be delivered out of modern day Egypt, spiritual Egypt and spiritual Sodom and uh, across the four corners of the world where we have been spread pursuant to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 and many holy scriptures throughout the book. That's right. Our king is coming, but before he comes family, there were things that were supposed to happen before he makes his way, and one of them is the Third World War. Let's read the book of Revelation, chapter 8, verse 30. It says, And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, that is one, woe, that is two, woe, that is three, to the inhabitants of the earth, by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound. The woes represent destruction. We know through um, history, yes, that these nations, they had the first world war, which was what, 1914 to 1918. They had the Second World War in 1939, 1945. And like now they're about to have a Third World War. Again, family, this is about Yahweh. You see how the Lord works? It's he, before it happens, guess what he does? He tells you of it. And family, there's no other power that can do that. No, 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 no. We are blessed to have a power. Eh? That tells us, that's the power that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai family. Again, before I begin this lesson, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Yes, his name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son, the redeemer of Israel. The only begotten of our power, Yahweh. His name is Yahweh Shai. And to you, the Israelite, spread across the four corners of the world, the so-called Latinos, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, in, uh, Native Indians, whatever name that these devil place on us. That's right. These are our corporate names. These are not our names. Yes, the family, this is what the Lord did to us. These are part of the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. That's right. And the book of Jeremiah told us also that we will be what? Discontinue from our heritage. Family, you can get, I think it's Jeremiah 17, somewhere in Jeremiah 17. So yes, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. 
Because family, again, we are all about our power. Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai. He says, I am the Lord, that is my name. Yahweh is his name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Yes, so uh, uh, whatever the Muslim worship is, they call Allah. Allah it simply means power family. But we don't call, we know the name is Yahweh. And then you have the Hindu, they have their gods, they have, uh, and then you have, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, some Christian have their, their sweet Jesus, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes, you know. Uh, we have Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's right, our king, yes, the one who the entire world is going to see, he says, so called, so called, I say so called, because family, we are not black. He says, so called black man, but he's dark skinned man. That's who, who is coming. That's why family, the entire world is about to witness something that they haven't witnessed before. That's, yes, because the entire world have been fooled that the, the power of the heavens, all the angels are this small little white babies, you know, naked, and those are the angels. No, 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 no. Family, they're about to witness what, who, what the angels look like. That's right. That's right. They are so-called black men, family. Power, great power, strength. Yes. The Hawashai family, Revelation told you what he looks like. Revelation chapter 1 verse 15 down told, told us what our king looks like. That's why family, it says, men's heart failing them for what is coming. Because like I said, this entire world, at one point, family, we were in the same boat. We were also fooled. Yes. That's right. But by the mercies of our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, family, now we have the light. The light is our King, Yahweh, Shai, which is in us. And family, once you have that light, you are free indeed. You are free indeed. All praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Again, family, the book of Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 8. He says, I am the Lord, that is my name, Yahweh, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. That's right. Because none of these nations and their gods can, can, can tell us the future, family. But this is what our power does. It says here, verse, four, verse 9, it says, Behold, the former things are come to pass. Are you listening to this? He told you that you're going to be, in, uh, you're going to be a slave. He told you that you're going to be go going to different captivities, right? This is your last captivity. Seven means completion. This is the seventh one, okay? So that's it. You are free indeed. And that's what this word, this knowledge does for you. It says here, behold, the four more things are come to pass. Meaning what? Before it happens, it tells you of it. It says here, and new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. That's right. He told us there will be three world war, right? And the second war, we had the first, second world war came and gone. Now we have one more coming. So family, with that, let's get into this article. First and foremost, again, all praises, all praises, all praises, honor, glory, power to our power, Yahweh, the power of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Family, those are the two names that are important. Nobody's important. Family, those names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, that's it. We are only a mouthpiece. Like I said, I always say in my lesson, the Lord can grab a stone, can grab a rock, a donkey off the street, and put this word in their mouth, and they will teach it. So um, no man should be proud of this family. It is a privilege. If the Lord bless you with this wisdom, it is a privilege. And we give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. No man should be proud. If you are proud, boastful, boast in the name of our power, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's it. That's it, family. We cannot save ourselves. Eh? I cannot save you. Nobody can save you but the Yahweh Shai. Family, it's all about pleasing him. Eh? You don't want to be left behind. So, oh, yes. It's all about those names. And let's get into it. It says here. This is from our War News 24-7. This just came through, family. Things are heating up. And family, this is what we want. Because we know that in the midst of this, we don't know what hour, what time, the family things need to escalate. This is the last war to end all wars, the third war. It says here, from Russia, it says, so announcement. This is from, so, so family, this is actually in Greek, okay? So it's a Greek website, and then they translate it. So it doesn't really read as smooth as uh, it should read. But family, you will get the point. Okay, I'll put this in the description box and you can read it for yourself. All right, if you choose to. 
But we thank the Lord that the prophecies are jumping off the pages. It says, yes, in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, the vision, which is the prophecy, was for an appointed time. But it says, at the end, it shall speak and not lie. It says, though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come and it shall not tarry. Family, the prophecies are here. And guess who gets the credit? Our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Rakakodash, family. We thank the Lord for the spirit that he has poured upon us to see it. That's the thing, family. We see it. Yes, we see it. We see the end of this kingdom. We see everything coming to an end. We see it. We pray that 2023 will be the last time on this planet here. We pray that the Lord will cut the time short so we can go home. Family, we want to be the head, the rulership. Eh? That's what we're praying for. There's nothing here for us, family. There's nothing here for us. Now that the Lord opened, we were here to serve our punishment. And family, we serve our time. Now we're about to be released from prison. And Yahweh Shai himself is the one who's coming to get us out. You understand? Nobody's free. You're still in your captivity, family. Don't get, it, don't get it twisted. Because you can get in your car and drive across the street. No, you still have, don't you still have a birth certificate, driver's license, passport? That's right. You are not free, family. Don't get it twisted. You are not free. You still have mortgage. You still pay rent. When you are free, family, you're not going to be tied to all these contracts. That's right. You'll be sovereign. That's right. You're going to owe everything. You're going to own everything. This is, how, this is the blessing that the Lord is about to pour upon his people, the Israelite. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, for mercy, and Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, Rakah Kodash. It says here, announcement. Reason Third World War from Russia. USA and Poland hit targets inside our territory. Okay, this is how things escalate. We know the Third World War started in mid, uh, around uh, February 24th of this year. Okay, this is just, uh, the, this family, things are about to escalate. And this is what we want. Okay, it says here, fears of an equivalent accomplished. It says here, we legitimize to hurt their forces. For the first time since the start of the war in Ukraine, Russia has directly accused the U.S. and Poland of attacks against Russian targets deep inside the country. This is not just escalation, but the cause of a third world war. Moscow now has the right to self-defense and is and is legitimized to hit at least targets in Poland. Hmm? We know that Poland is part of what? NATO, and NATO as a NATO member, this whole the collective West are going to gather together NATO members and now they're going to go and attack Russia. Family, this way is all leading because why? The Lord said it. The Third World War is coming. Yes, and we are extremely excited. Why? Because we're going to see the end of this kingdom. That's right. After the Third World War, whatever nuclear missile that's going to be flying family, it is going to happen. That's right. But we're going to see our King Yahweh Shai on this planet. That's right. It's heaven. Our heaven is the same thing. Family. This is Esau's heaven. He had his time to rule. That's right. He destroyed the world to the best of his ability because he is the one, the red horse that took power from the earth. He has accomplished his task. Now you're going to see the Prince of Peace. Because Yahweh Shai's kingdom is a everlasting kingdom and it's the peaceful kingdom. There will be no more wars. That's the king who is coming. That's right. You're going to be able to differentiate between a man and a, and a woman. A boy and a girl. Hey, family, there will be no confusion. You can guarantee that. That's right. Your food is going to be clean. Your air that you breathe is going to be beautiful. Yes, your drinking water is going to be clean, family. There will be no chemicals in your toothpaste. That's right. Your food is not going to be GMO. It's going to be organic. Yes, that's what we are looking forward to, Lord willing. Yes. You're going to be able to enjoy your children and not worry about somebody teaching them, eh? a young child, eh? about about debauchery, about wicked lifestyle. Eh? No, 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 family. That is not going to happen in the kingdom. 
the statutes and the laws are going to come out of the Bible. That's right. These nations, we have to teach them how to live righteously. They're not going to be eating pork in the kingdom. They're not going to be eating shrimp in the kingdom. They're not going to be celebrating Christmas in the kingdom. They're going to follow everything that we do in our kingdom. They're going to follow our holidays. That is what is coming. Lord willing. It's not the world. It's not coming to an end. This rulership, their kingdom is coming to an end. Yahweh Shai's kingdom is the one following. All praises to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahusha, Bahashem Rukakodash. Let's continue to read. It says here Data from intercepted Ukrainian drones confirm the involvement of the US and Poland in preparing attacks on Russia. A source from the Russian security service told TAS. Family, things are escalating. It says, competent services of the Russian Federation analyzed electronic component of the intercepted unarmed, sorry, unmanned aerial vehicles eh, used by Ukraine for attacks on objects of Russia infrastructure, in particularly in Sevastopol, Crimea, Kurs, Belgrade, and Varonezh regions. Okay, so it's on, family. According to the esti estimates of experts in Russia, number of events confirmed the direct involvement of USA and Poland in the massive military logistical support of Kiev regime in the preparation and implementation of joint terrorist attack on the ground of Russian Federation. Moscow claims that the drone... Avionics and control stations were manufactured by American Spec Specter Works, a company that performed the initial coordination and control of the drones at Scottsdale Airport in Arizona. In addition, the relevant agencies emphasized that the final assembly and flight test of these drones took place on Polish territory near the Resolve Airport which is used by the U.S. and NATO as the main supply hub for the Ukrainian armed forces. The installation of the payload, the flight mission, and the launch itself were carried out from Odessa and Krivoy uh, Raj, eh? claim Russian experts. Ukrainian drones hit the military airfield Engel to Saratov region and Diaghilev, Ryzen region. Man, I hope I'm pronouncing this word right. On December 6, these strikes were followed by the eighth massive missile attack against Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Medvedev message to Poles, America, Americans, and British. Listen to this, family. Yesterday's statement by Medvedev were by no means accidental. Russian security, and this is a guy who used to be the former prime, sorry, the former president of Russia. So, family. Yes, I mean, his, his word, I mean, comes with a lot of weight. It says here, Russia Security Council Vice Chairman Dmitry Medvedev outlined legitimate military target for Russia via his Telegram channel. According to his statement, legitimate military target for Russia may include the military political leadership of the enemy country, hmm? Washington. Family, that's, that's a quote for Washington and the armed forces of other countries that are allies of the enemy country. Hmm? Euro Britain family, he wasn't joking. Euro, sorry, I mean Britain and NATO family. Sorry, what am I saying? Britain and the, the Britain and the EU. Because I mean Britain used to be part of the EU, but family, you still think that they, the way they behave, they are part of EU. But here, it says here, Dmitry Medvedev said that during the current conflict with Ukraine, the question of legitimate military target is interpreted in different ways. But there are rules of conduct during war, just in Belo, which are rooted in sacred sources. sources. What are considered legitimate military targets today? Under the so-called rules of war, these are any enemy troops, legal and illegal combatants, not formally withdrawn from their armed forces, all military and auxiliary equipment of the enemy, 
any object related to military infrastructure as well as civilian infrastructure that contributes to the achievement of military objectives. Bridges, transport stations, roads, energy facilities, factories, and workshops at least partial fulfillment of military orders. The military political leadership of the enemy country. Hmm, you know, family, we know what he's talking about. He's talking about America. It says the armed forces of other countries that officially enter the war, which are allies of the enemy country and the objects located on their territory referred to in paragraph 1-4. Excuse me. Today, however, there is a basic question. Can the hybrid war, which NATO declared de facto in our country, be considered the alliance entry into the war against Russia? Can the supply of huge amount of weapons to Ukraine be considered an attack on Russia? And according, accordingly, the military objectives of the North Atlantic bloc, which is NATO family, are listed in paragraph 1 to 4 of this note. The leaders of NATO countries sing with one voice that their countries and the entire bloc are not at war with Russia. But everyone knows very well that everything is different. So family, that is the article. We are praying that the Lord indeed will cut the time short. He will keep his elect, like the Hawash I said, he's with us till the end. And he says, because we have kept the, uh, his word, actually, let's bring it up. Let's go to the book of Revelation 3.10. The book of Revelation. Revelation 3.10. This is what the king said to us. And this should comfort you. Okay, yeah, how was I said in the book of Revelation 3.10? It says here. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Hmm? Meaning you have suffered. Patience go back to suffering. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Hmm? Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. The main hour of temptation is going to be the CHIP. I know we continue to beat a dead horse. But family, we need to remind our people that this is not for you. The elect. It's all about the elect. Okay, the Lord wants us to beat this drum because family, you look back, you read the Bible. And then when it comes to destruction of these nations, you know what? The Lord put the word in different prophets, you know, from Malachi, Habakkuk, Jeremiah, Isaiah family. It's the same thing, but they, they, it's just, they are repeating the same thing. Eh? But it's just the way everybody presented, eh? a little different. But it's the same word, the same warning continue to go forth. And we are doing the same thing, family. There's nothing new under the sun. So yes, the hour of temptation is the CHIP and it's coming. The digitalization of uh, our money is coming. I came across an article on this is Zero Hedge. It's here. It's here. The digitalization of money is coming. You see? And so it begins. It says here, digital currency becomes possible in our future. It is here. Okay? And it's going to, this is what they, they are openly talking about it right now. Yes. And in order to be part of this society, family, they're going to force you. They're not going to force you, but they're going to make it difficult for you to, uh, you know, buy things, you know. Basically survive in this society, family. Pay your rent, you know, your car payment, all these stuff, family. Your health, they tell, they, they want, they are actually going to sell it as, as this. They're going to say, oh, this is to make things easier for you. You know, you don't need your, your, your the key to your car anymore. Your apartment, office, and blah, 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 every Family. You know how the devil is. You know how he operates. You know, digital money is coming. Everything is going to go el electronic. But remember, family, the Lord says we have kept the word of his patience. So he's also going to keep us through the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the earth. Those are the main two prophets that we're waiting for. Family, everything's been fulfilled. The word being preached around the world, right? So 
The only thing left is the Third World War and the CHIP, Revelation 13, 16. Yes, family, it is coming. We can avoid it. It is good. It's part of Jacob's trouble. Remember again, Jacob's trouble, the Lord said what? But Jacob shall be saved out of it. The Lord said, have no doubt in the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16, verse 74. He says, have no doubt. I am your guide. So knowing that, remember, knowing that, everything has to go back to the Lord. You have to question. You have to go back to the Lord. He said, Lord, this is what you said. You're going to protect me. And I'm in here. I am here. I'm, I'm in this tight spot. This is what you said. You got to go back. You got to talk to the Lord. Because he made the promise. And that's the mindset that we have to be in. Yes, it's going to be a lot of scary. It could be. I'm just speaking as a man, family. But we got to put our trust in our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, The Lord knows. And he already promised that he's not going to give you anything you cannot handle. Remember that. You see, these are the, these are the, these are the precepts that we have to think upon. Remember what Apostle Paul said in the book of uh, Romans 15.4? He says, what? whatever was written at four times was written for what? Our, our, our learning. Actually, let's, 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 probably let's finish with that. Let's finish with that. Um, Apostle Paul, is it Romans? Romans 15.4, right? Is it 15.4? Yeah, 15.4. It says, for whatsoever things were written at four times were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So you're going to think back. When things get hard, think, think about what our forefathers went through. You know? Remember those three brothers? Our forefathers, uh, Meshach, uh, Meshach, Abednego, and, uh, oh, come on. Uh, what's their name again? The name that the king gave them. Meshach, Shadrach. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. You see, these are the, the thing. Let family, they bind them up and threw them in the furnace. Literally. Family, a hot friend. Isn't the people that threw them in the friend? Family, they were destroyed. But guess what? The angel was with them. The, the fire had no power over them. These are the things that we have to think about. Yes, we're going to have to pray for some serious faith. And we pray that the Lord will increase our faith. And we're not going to bow down to their image. We are not. It's not going to happen. Daniel, Daniel was thrown, in, was thrown into a lion's den. These are all the examples. This is what Apostle Paul says here. You see, whatever was written at four times, this is our forefathers went through it. Family, there's nothing new under the sun. And they made up their mind. What is it called? Hab, uh, what is it called? Our brothers, uh, Maccabees, the book of Maccabees. When Antiochus and all these, uh, the Greek, uh, during the Greek captivity, eh? when they came in, destroy our temple and told us that we can't circumcise our sons, we can't worship our Lord, we can't sacrifice to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, eh? kill some of us who opened the Bible. But some stood up. Some said, no, 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 we are not doing this. We'd rather die than, than to obey a man. Family, so these are the examples that we're going to have to draw upon. This we have to. Because as the book says, with much tribulation, Family, the Yahweh Shai wasn't lying. It says, with much tribulation, we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be tight. Yes. It's going to be tight because we're going to be saved between what? Uh, between the sixth and the seventh. Uh, what's it called? The six, between the sixth and the seventh trumpet, right? So the seventh trumpet is completion. Seven is when the destruction comes. So it's going to be between the sixth and the seventh. So we're going to be barely. Get out of this place. That's the my family. We're going to be barely get out before the destruction comes. But you can't give up. We haven't come this far to drop the baton. Family, we can see the finish line. We can see the light. We've been in dark. We see the light. You know what? At that tunnel. We've been in this tunnel for many years, many generations. But now here we are. We are about to go into the kingdom. We're going to have some strong faith. And we just have to family do you know what? Just continue to trust the process. Yes, the third world war is at the corner. Don't get it twisted. It is coming. They can they can they, everything in this book has to be fulfilled. The Lord said the three woes. The first war came out in 1914 to 1918, and then 1939 to 1945, and this is the last one. All praises to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son, the redeemer of Israel. 
family, we have a power fighting on our behalf. Remember, this is already written. The victory is already written for us. We are just going through the motions. And that's how you have to look at it. We're just going through the motions. Or praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for this truth. That's right, the word of truth. And to you, I say shalom. Okay, all praises, honor, glory to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. And to you, beloved, the apple of the Lord's eyes, I will say shalom. I hope you are defied.